Welcome to the next beautiful morning here in St. Louis, Missouri. And we've got Mac with us. How you doing, Mac? Yo, yo, yo. Doing swell. Doing swell. Mac, today's actually a special episode of Camp Camp. Oh. It's season two, episode ten. This one is called Space Camp Was a Hoax. Oh, my I think bro. my most hated guy is finally gonna get his comeuppance, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Without further ado, let's just hop right into it. Look at him. Being an idiot, bro. <laughs> at least he's happy. Uh, Neil, do your nah, I can't stand him. Of course. Yeah, Neil would be the person to go oh, against so him, bro. Ah, 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 ah. Roger that. Wait, he knew what he said? I have no idea. He knows I, Morris code, bro? I what? I have no idea. There's no way. This guy is too much of an idiot That's to know something I, like that. <laughs> get wrecked. God, man. Oh, no. We're stuck in the gravitational pull. Ow. Oh, sorry. A booster rocket. Oh, oh God, God dang, God. bro. <laughs> what the? God. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna need your help. I told you, I don't want to play your dumb space game. It's that dumb in space. The final frontier. Your final frontier is gonna be flipping burgers at the drive-thru. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm saying there's no way you're ever going to space. Just Ah, oh, man, bro. Why you gotta do him like this? I don't like him, but he don't deserve this. He looks like he's the youngest one out of all of them. True. He's just trying to have some fun. You think it's possible for a shitty camp like this to send you to space, and B, <laughs> that I have a shitty toy in my already shitty potatoes that are now in the shitty floor. Well, one, I think you owe the quartermaster an apology. Those potatoes are his specialty. Gonna need that wet floor sign. And two. <laughs> what? <laughs> this what? man, this man. Bro. <laughs> it would be something like that that he actually really cares about. <laughs> It really would be. Yeah. <laughs> Caught. Yeah. Sure, uh, yeah. Well, I think your phrasing could use some work. Max is right, Little Dipper. You're not actually going to space, but we are going to have the most fun space activities of any space camp out there. What? Now, let's see here. What did we have listed? Send your child to space. See? Space! Now, you see, kids, when a piece of information has an asterisk, that usually means it has a caveat. I'm sure it says, no caveats here. Your kid will go, zoom, straight into space, so your money back, plus extra money. Man, Campo's no. an idiot, bro. <laughs> bro, he's I, gone. Wait, he is gone, dude. He's... Uh, he, I, and he just leaves David with this shit. David, man, if I work this job, it's not my problem, bro. I Facts. do not care. That is a fact. That matter. What are you suggesting, then? I hate to say it, but we're going to have to fake a moon landing. <laughs> oh, let's okay. go, dude. Really? I figured you'd object or something. Nah, I mean, that sounds like the kind of stuff we do around here. Four rings. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Bro, she needs to get out of this place. She, yeah. <laughs> she needs to get out of this place. Hey, let's go deal with Space Kid. <sighs> We've got to deal with Space Kid. Now you just keep an eye on that weather. We need those guys to be clear. Roger. Okay, construction team, how's it going? Lucky for them, it's the dumbest kid in the camp, you know. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like they actually could convince him he's in space. So. Yeah, it's, it's he's the only one that would fall for it. Well answered. Whoopsie. <laughs> Better go tend to our aspiring astronaut. All right, kids, let's get back to work. Nerf. Astronaut is spelled with one S, mm -hmm. and you know it. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> if David gets his way, then Space Kid's never gonna chill out about space. It's okay, guys. I have an idea. We're gonna have to destroy space. Oh, this episode—they're the bad kids. Bro. Ooh. I mean, oh, Max, my... Max is always kind of the. <laughs> yeah, but like you know, they're like yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. But now they're all bad. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> the Breakfast Club or. The dinner club, because they're bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or we try a version therapy. If we can somehow get him to associate space with discomfort, it could make him drop the whole thing entirely. So we don't have to stop David's moon landing. We just have to make it scar him for life. 
Okay. Oh God. Like oh God. I've got a better idea. <laughs> and she's smiling. She's switchblade, bro. bro. someone needs to oh, stop that girl. Right. Let's get started. Whoa! This guy is so stupid. He was staring into the sun, bro. I thought. I thought he just didn't natural work. selection, man. I thought natural that's selection. I thought he, yeah. Right. Your name is Neil Armstrong. I named after my great grandfather. Uh -huh. No of shot. Yes, you are. Let me just write that down. I wonder if he is. This <laughs> 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 many. Wait. This many. Blood type. Red. Chin. How many planets are there in the solar system? Eight. Uh, nope. Sorry. The book says nine. Oh, you must be counting the dwarf planets too. That gets pretty tricky. So eight wait, plus the wait. five no dwarf planets. Wait. Sorry, Pluto. Plus the possible. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so he's an idiot in everything but space. He actually knows them about space. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Maybe his great granddad or granddad was actually Neil Armstrong. Imagine, dude. Imagine. <laughs> Martians. Well, hello there, Max. Have you seen Space Kid? We need to make sure he goes to bed extra early for our sunrise launch tomorrow. It's four in the afternoon. And I'm out of space activities. Don't worry, David. I'll be sure to let him know. Oh my god, bro. He's a whole Grinch. Well, thanks for all the training, Max, but uh, I'm not feeling so great. Yeah, astronaut training will do that to you. That's why I've got some nice, powerful sleeping medicine to make sure you sleep soundly through the night. Oh, well, how much should I take? All of it's probably good. Oh my gosh. Oh, thanks for having me. Bro, he's best. trying to kill this kid, Literally, bro. literally. This is not like... Oh God gosh. dang. Mad expired food and then... Ah, God. A bottle of whatever the heck. Groundbreaking! <laughs> I'm not feeling too good. Can we play space another day? Space waits for no one. Yeah! So you ready, space kid? Space kid, space kid, space kid. Astronaut Armstrong, are you ready, sir? I'm ready. They ended up getting this man high, bro. They're gonna make this the best experience <laughs> of his life. Actually, no, actually. <laughs> he might just be foaming in the mouth when we get out of all of this. Oh no, oh no. Uh -huh. Sounds like he's having a fever dream. It sounds like he's going to fucking space. Three, <laughs> <two, one. laughs> oh my gosh. Nice. What have you done? Do you realize how much paperwork I have to do for a dead camper? Don't overreact. Wait, you've had to do that before? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> If there's one thing we can give Space Kid, bro, he's just built different. <laughs> That's a Landing fact, on that, That's eating all this fact. bad food. Yeah. He really is, man. Yeah, still standing. Shout out to you, Space Kid. Mission command, I've made it. Space is our turf, motherfucker! Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa. Nikki. I've come in peace, Moon Martians. And I hope that we may work together for a better tomorrow. Think we scared the space out of him? I don't know, but I'm getting bored and caring less. They made this a whole perfect experience for him, bro. Right, for real. He's so dumb. Except he feels horrible, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the sickness. Max, when your heart is in the right place, it's okay if you fib a little. It all works out. Is that a good moral? <laughs> <laughs> now all that's left to do is to send it's his so parents the tape. So, where, where did, did you, you set, set up, up the, the camera? camera? Space! I mean, do you know Photoshop? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, bro. Uh, that's really all they need. I mean, if yeah, he true. already has it in his head that he did a fantastic job in space. Yeah, but then, like, if, honestly. Yeah. If his parents, if his granddad is actually Neil Armstrong, then, yeah, they're not going to believe that shit regardless. I mean, <laughs> why would they send their kid fact. to a camp thinking that that was really going to happen? Yeah, there's no way. There's no way.
They probably just wanted the extra money from the refund. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, wouldn't be surprised if that comes back. Kid for your summer. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, great episode. Thank you guys for True, watching. Don't forget to like, share. Episode. Huh? I said it was a great episode. I enjoyed them. Yeah. Surprisingly. Even if it's the guy I hate the most, surprisingly a really good episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Peace out. Every time I see you leaving traces of my heart back Hope you pick it up, then as a team we put it all back As a man, I shouldn't even tell you where my heart's at I don't care, cause baby girl, it's you that's got my heart hacked And that's a hard fact You got my heart mad